Uh, well, I've never been to that part of the world before. Um, I've been to Africa and um, you know, a lot of my friends have been to Southeast Asia, so I wanted to do something different. And Central America had that draw for like the wildlife and the people out there. Um, so that's really why I chose that project. Uh, well, the project involved uh, mainly primate conservation, um, doing research and their species and their abundance, and then also um, reptile conservation um, and a sea turtle project where we were um, basically counting the number of eggs, we weren't, <laughs> counting the number of nest sites, um, the species of the turtle, um, and basically just uh, doing beach patrols um, to be a human presence to deter poachers from taking the eggs off the beach. Um, well, mainly I gained sort of in-field research experience because I studied geography and college at university, but what I lacked was not having enough uh, field research experience. So um, one of the main reasons why I went out there was to get that experience because I want to go into a career in conservation um, and a lot of job roles not necessarily it's essential, but um, it's a requirement to have some infield uh, research experience. Um, so that's the main thing really that I got, as well as working with volunteers. <laughs> Generally, the uh, the abundance of the wildlife that was out there was absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, you wouldn't go throughout a morning or an afternoon without seeing five or six different types of uh, snake or reptile, primates. Um, and it's just a great way of life out there. Um, mm. yeah, it was relaxed. The weather, um, you know, it was during the rainy season, at the start of it. But that, you know, that doesn't deter you whatsoever because you're out there. It's such an amazing place. Um, there's very few places like that left in the world. Um, so it really is a once in a lifetime experience to go out there and do that kind of thing. Um, actually, my favorite animal I really wanted to see um, was the rosette spoonbill, um, okay. which is a bit like a flamingo. Um, it's a small pink bird, it's got a big uh, spoon shaped bill, hence the name. Um, and I actually saw that about two weeks before I was leaving, so I was, I was quite psyched about that. But um, uh, also, my favourite animals were all the different species of frogs, like the red eyed tree frogs, mm -hmm. the hourglass frogs, uh, going to the swamp at night. Um, yeah. You, know, you weren't allowed to wear D and stuff like that, but um, you know you push through all the mozzies and the midges biting to say you could see all these you know, hundreds of frogs croaking, jumping all over you. It's a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. Well, I sort of flew into San Jose, which is an interesting city, um, and then you know, we went out to the Osa Peninsula, and uh, we actually spent some time in the um, Corcovado National Park. Mm -hmm. uh, which again is uh, absolutely amazing, um, full of wildlife. And then um, spent the 10 weeks on the Osa Peninsula, went to Drake Bay as well, which is you now a world renowned turtle conservation um, site. And yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think at Drake Bay I had the world's, or the, you know, the biggest mangrove swamp in the Americas. So that was quite an interesting sight to see. Um, but just generally the whole of the Osa Peninsula is just a fantastic place to be. So. Just the abundance of the wildlife out there. There's nowhere else in the world that you'd see that much wildlife. Um, you're going out there to do the research and you know, you're not going to be disappointed on a day-to-day on -day basis. You'll see so much um, primates, reptiles, birds. It's just fantastic.